estimating differences with round teeth. Now here's our problem we're going to do. 77 minus 28. So here's the actual problem. Subtract the 1's. We can't take 8 away from 7. So we borrow 1 in the 10's. And we make 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. And then we only have 6 10's left. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So the answer, the actual answer is 49. But now let's find the estimated difference. You're going to make a good guess as to what the difference will be. To estimate, we round. Round each number in the problem, and for this problem, we'll round to the nearest 10. If it was a bigger number, we could round to the nearest 100 or the nearest 1,000 to make it easier. But for this problem, we just need to round to the nearest 10. So what is 77 rounded to the nearest 10? Okay, the 10 is in red. We have seven tens, so we look to the number at the right, which is another seven. It's circled, so that's more than five. Seven is more than five, so the seven has to round up. Seven changes to an eight. So 77 rounds to 80. And what is 28 rounded to the nearest 10? And the 10 is two. The number to the right is eight. Eight is more than five, so that's going to round up two. Two turns into three. So 28 rounds to 30. Now we estimate the difference. To do that, we subtract the rounded numbers. That will give us our good guess as to what the difference is. So we have 80 minus 30 equals 50. So we have estimated that 77 minus 28 is 50. Is it a good guess? Is it a good estimate? Well, there are the exact numbers, and the actual difference was 49. And these are the rounded numbers at the bottom. And the estimated difference was 50. Yes, it is a good estimate. 49 and 50. Our guess estimate is a good one. 50 is close to 49.